We're covering Colorado First tonight in Denver, where police today offered free women's self-defense training. It's in honor of the Me Too movement. Melissa Garcia has more on the dozens of women who showed up at the Rude Rec Center to learn how to fight back. The U.S. Air Force Academy is restructuring and expanding its sexual assault office. The change comes after an investigation showed the office was crippled by poor management and neglected its duties. This all comes a day after Colorado lawmakers created a new policy on how to report sexual harassment at the Capitol. The changes include hiring a full-time human resources employee and also hiring an outside firm to perform a review of their current policies. More than 2,000 volunteers came to Fort Logan National Cemetery today to lay wreaths at the gravestones. Our Joel Hillen was there as they honored the fallen in this national tradition. Most of us have a favorite holiday ornament. This holiday season, you can make your own. The Furnace, a hot glass studio in Lakewood, is hosting a make your own ornament extravaganza. And speaking of transportation problems, we begin this morning with thousands who rely on public transportation in Bakersfield. We'll have to find a new way to get to work, school, or around town today as GET employees have walked off the job. Homeowners in City in the Hills are upset this morning after the city voted to expand the Mesa Marin Sports Complex instead of developing a second park that homeowners had been waiting for. Last night's vote was described as a decision between a neighborhood park or a community park. This morning, a divided Bakersfield City Council agrees to spend millions of dollars to give more than 1,300 city employees a pay raise. The resolution got the green light last night in a 3-2 to two vote with two council members absent. Bakersfield police took four people into custody, including a pregnant woman, following a shooting in East Bakersfield. It happened just before 4 yesterday afternoon at 4th Street and Union Avenue. Here's a big story. Today is National Chicken Wing Day, and in honor of the big day, Hooters has issued a challenge to chicken wing aficionados. It's challenging customers across the nation to eat two million wings in one day. I will be doing half of that. <laughs> in support of the dare, or perhaps just a marketing move, the restaurant chain is offering all you can eat wings for $12.99. And a good Tuesday morning, July 29th, something about today I think I'm supposed to remember. I don't know what it is. I will I figure either. it out at some point during this newscast. <laughs> but for now, Mark Austin for Kiyoshi. Trying to figure out what's going on today. It's July 29th. Yes. We've been working on it all newscast. Yep. Have you figured it out yet? Have you? I think so. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, it's Maddie's 21st uh, birthday. Oh my gosh, you take that picture down, <laughs> sir. Another thing about me, I have my read receipts turned on on my iPhone. Turns out Shelby Harris uses that function as well, but it caused an issue when his phone was flooded with messages after his blocked field goal on Monday night. It's been a tough opening stretch for Colorado, but they did have a really nice moment a week ago when the fans all stood during the 24th minute to show support for number 24, Courtney Ford, and his mom, Lori, who's battling cancer. Courtney says if it wasn't for his mom, there's no chance he'd be where he is today. I, mean, I am pretty sure that one day, August 3rd, will be recognized as an official holiday in New England because August 3rd is Tom Brady's birthday, and Tommy turned 40 today. So the Pats threw him a party that included five goats because Brady has won five Super Bowls, and, well, that makes him the goat. Fans could also sign a huge card for Tom, and many brought their own as well. And, of course, they had to sing for birthday boy Brady. And the Broncos will certainly be racking up the frequent flyer miles this season. They also have East Coast trips to Philadelphia, Miami, and Christmas Eve in Washington, D.C. Michael, when the Broncos were winning 12 and 13 games a year, every loss was a big deal and usually completely unexpected. But, boy, times have changed quickly. And with the team's ninth loss today, they have guaranteed themselves their first losing season since 2010. Michael, it was really an interesting day across the NFL and that was certainly the case for the Broncos here in Buffalo. It started before the game as players from both teams took part in protests during the national anthem and then it continued into the game as the Broncos had their worst outing of the season. Hey Jim, yeah this is the kickoff to Super Bowl week. They're calling it opening night this year. It's the first chance for media to hear from the teams here in California. The Broncos session will go first. They're gonna get underway in just a couple minutes. Now, when we often talk about Peyton Manning we talk about his preparation. He was always prepared for everything. Well, today, when Manning stepped to the podium, he paused for 10, maybe 15 seconds. He needed just a little extra time to compose himself before delivering an emotional goodbye. 
The NFL is pretty strict when it comes to uniform rules, but now one game a year they designate as a My Cause, My Cleats game, and players can design their own cleats to support a cause, like Trevor Simeon and Children's Hospital Colorado. You go in there and they're the first to crack a joke or they're smiling. And, um, it's, it's, you know, you almost feel selfish going over there because I feel so good leaving. Um, hanging out with those guys. The causes are unique and personal to each player. Max Garcia chose the Pediatric Brain Cancer Foundation. For Garrett Bowles, it's the National Center for Disabilities. This is something that means more than just football to me. This, this is my life. You know, I, I struggle with the learning disability my, my whole career, um, my whole life. That's just something, but it's something I got to overcome. She was just full of joy, you know, that I would, you know, that I would honor, you know, Kobe and, and the foundation this way. Isaiah McKenzie will honor his grandmother. I sent her a picture and she called me she started crying you know she knows she knows how much i love her and you know she's she's in every part of my life and von miller will wear two different cleats one for von's vision another for lupus awareness one of my uh, childhood friends he has uh, he has lupus uh, 20 20 uh, he's 27 years old just found out this off season so this is for uh, tony my brother so left and right foot kind of like that in all, about two dozen Broncos will wear special cleats on Sunday in Miami. And there's some nice cleats here. There are some very not, actually, I see some that might be look better than mine, but I like the way mine look. I'm excited about them. I got to make sure I got quick feet with all this fire on them.